I'm Francesco Giorgino. I'm professor of endocrinology at the University of Bari, Aldo Moro, in Italy. The Vertis CV is, is an important study, of course. Uh, it's uh, around uh, another SGLT2 inhibitor, r 2 gliflozin uh, which was uh, tested for its uh, safety and also efficacy in a population at very high risk of cardiovascular disease uh, in order to see whether it would uh, uh, specifically reduce uh, the incidence of major adverse cardiovascular events. So the people that were enrolled in this trial well, were all patients with established cardiovascular disease and uh, the uh, drug was uh, compared with the standard of care. Now there are some I think disappointing results from this study uh, and these are uh, the lack of uh, superiority that was uh, seen for the primary endpoint which was a composite of non-fatal MI, non-fatal uh, stroke and uh, cardiovascular death. So this uh, particular uh, endpoint uh, was uh, uh, not uh, inferior with uh, ertugliflozin versus placebo, but was also not reduced uh, with the drug as compared with placebo. So this is uh, somehow uh, disappointing me because we could have expected, we could have expected uh, a reduction of this particular uh, endpoint. Another uh, kind of disappointing result uh, based on the previous trial is uh, the lack of superiority on a secondary endpoint, which was again a composite of uh, cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure. There was uh, a trend for a reduction of this uh, endpoint in the initial uh, period of the of the study of the trial, but then at the end uh, this uh, was not statistically significant. So these are some uh, elements of a, a disappointment, but at the same time, uh, I think uh, the study is uh, consistent with the previous uh, cardiovascular outcome trials of the class of SGLT2 inhibitors. So uh, if we look at uh, the reduction of hospitalization for heart failure, this was uh, there in the versus CV, there was a 30% reduction, which was uh, statistically significant. So very convincing and very much aligned on the previous uh, results with the SGLT2 inhibitors. Again, another uh, kind of uh, consistent result is the reduction of uh, the renal composite, which actually did not achieve the statistical significance for the uh, way the endpoint was conceived, which was a composite of uh, renal death, uh, dialysis, and the doubling of serum creatinine. But uh, if we look at, uh, for example, the uh, uh, behavior of the EGFR throughout the study, which uh, uh, was uh, a very long study, so between two and three years of follow-up, uh, there was clearly uh, some uh, effect of r 2 glucosin because the EGFR, which dropped initially, as it happens with all SGT2 inhibitors, was more stabilized over time. And definitely at the end was uh, maintained to a higher level of kidney function as compared to placebo. So I think uh, the uh, you know, take-home message of this trial is that the, 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 the more uh, uh, recognized, I think, benefits of the SGLT2 inhibitors are confirmed with r 2 glyphosin namely the ability to reduce uh, hospitalization for heart failure and to affect uh, the kidney function in a favorable manner. Uh, at the same time, we have to recognize that this study together with EMPAREC is a study that uh, has enrolled a very high risk population, the highest uh, uh, risk population together with EMPAREC uh, when exposed to SGLT2 inhibitors. So I think this evidence is clinically relevant. I think this trial is also uh, interesting uh, because in a, a high risk population it shows uh, a safety profile of, uh, of the molecule which is consistent with, with the class. Uh, there are some uh, in imbalances in some in some uh, side effects, like for example the amputations, but at the same time the statistical analysis that was shown by the authors uh, of the study, by the steering committee uh, members, uh, was pretty convincing in, in showing that uh, this is uh, something that is not uh, statistically uh, uh, so significant, you know, in terms of uh, of impact. Anyway, that the, the events were relatively uh, rare. The only thing that uh, uh, hits uh, me a little bit in terms of adverse uh, events profile is the fact that there was a statistically significant 
uh, increase in the urinary tract infections, which is something that uh, has been seen, but not always seen in previous studies. Actually, uh, it was uh, more uh, uh, not evident than, than evident in, in, previous, in previous studies. So maybe this is uh, some kind of, uh, I think, uh, interesting warning that uh, should uh, 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 raise the attention, not uh, exclusively on the genital infections, but also on the possibility to have some uh, little excess in urinary tract infections. This is a, a difficult question uh, to answer because, of course, if we have to consider uh, the scientific evidence, we, we have to uh, recognize that in other trials with different molecules, specifically if we consider the results uh, of Ampereg with uh, Ampagliflozin, uh, there was uh, a major effect uh, in that study on cardiovascular death. Even there was uh, an effect on all-cause death. So, uh, you know, if, if, we, if we want to, to reduce cardiovascular death in individual with, uh, individuals with established cardiovascular disease, uh, you, you, you should use empagliflozin. You cannot use ertogliflozin because there is no evidence for that particular uh, endpoint. And similarly, uh, if we consider uh, the MACE, the major adverse cardiovascular events, so the, the, the composite endpoint of non-fatal myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke and cardiovascular death, this was reduced uh, significantly, again, in Empereg, uh, it was the primary endpoint in this study, as in the Canvas program, and also was reduced uh, in the Canvas program by canary flozin. So uh, if we are going to use uh, these uh, drugs for, for the reduction of the maces, uh, we should stick with the, the, the trials that show evidence for uh, superiority. And these trials are Empereg and the Canvas program, as I mentioned. Uh, but uh, if we uh, want to uh, consider what is uh, probably, a, 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 as, I, a, as I probably alluded to, a, a more widely recognized uh, benefit of the class, which uh, is very much in, in uh, regard to the reduction of hospitalization for heart failure, reduction of the severity of heart failure, and uh, the effects on, on the kidney in the long term. Uh, I think that uh, in this respect, the data of Bertis do not differ uh, from the previous trials. Actually, they, co they confirm. Uh, what was found in all of the other trials with the three uh, molecules that have preceded uh, the, the, the evidence with ertogliflozin. So the, the, the class benefit, in my opinion, is not uh, much changed after knowing the results of the Virtus CV. I think we still need to understand better how these uh, drugs work. Uh, it is possible that uh, the different uh, results of these uh, uh, distinct cardiovascular outcome trials could be due to the population uh, features, uh, the study design, the way the study was conducted, but at the same time, the possibility that there could be some uh, different mechanisms of action, some, some fine uh, you know, tuning of the, of, the, of the way by which uh, these drugs affect the heart uh, tissue or the kidney tissue or activate systemic uh, changes that uh, translate into organ uh, benefit cannot be excluded. So I, I think uh, that we need more research because it would be valuable, you know, anyway, maybe beyond uh, the understanding of, of how these uh, drugs work. We need more research to, uh, to really clarify what is the mechanistic basis for the uh, benefit on the, on the heart failure, for the benefit on the kidney. There are, of course, some uh, hypotheses that have been uh, supported by experimental data, but at the same time, we, we still don't know, you know which is the, the, the major or which are the major uh, mechanistic uh, uh, changes that are behind the observed uh, clinical uh, effects. And at the same time, especially at the molecular level, we should, we should uh, understand where the there, are, there could be some differences between the individual molecules uh, in terms of uh, uh, activating, uh, you know, the uh, inhibition of SGLT2 or uh, by activating or, or targeting other uh, uh, molecules that have been suggested. <laughs>